All right, so the plan is for us to use uh, dual limb circuits. One, it's a lot easier um, and it's a more accurate, you're gonna get a more accurate uh, value on your sample line. So dual limb. All right, move this stuff out of the way. All right, so for the vent, we are, like we've been doing on all of these patients, we're using dual filter. And to do, to do the dual limb, you just need one adapter, which is your 15. Um, you'll hook this up just like you would your flow sensor. Hooks up like it normally would. It doesn't matter which side you have as your inspiratory and expiratory, you just have to make sure that your sample line is on the inspiratory side or you're not gonna get a reading. So the way we do this is you take your injector module, it goes directly on the inhalation side. You will attach either limb. So this is our inspiratory. So you need to have about six inches um, from the bifurcation to put your sample line. So you'll, if you're in transport, you can either cut it right here if you have shears or there's a six inch piece from the pre-op setup, which can be used, which I'm gonna use. So what you do is you'll have six inches. You're gonna place your sample line and then you just need this adapter to make it the same diameter so it can reconnect to this side of the tubing. And then you would have your um, end title and all that would be the same. You'll run a pre-op check just like you normally would. Um, and this is how you would transform for the dual limb. Uh, I'll show you the coaxial in the event that you see that. There's several ways to set up the dual or the coaxial. I'm gonna show you the way with the least amount of um, adapters. So for the dual limb, you just need your 15 adapter, a 22 adapter, and then a 12 inch piece of corrugated tubing. All right, same thing, you would attach this like you would. Oh. All right. Your injector module stays on the inhalation port. For this way, you do not need the exhalation elbow. Yeah, so you will take this off You'll take your 22 and put it on there, and then that connects to your exhalation side. All right, and then you have your 12 inch tubing is gonna go onto your injector module. You're gonna put your gas sample line, that 15, and then that connects to your inhalation elbow. And so this is what would be connected to the vent, or I'm sorry, the nitric, and then this is what's connected to the patient. So that is your setup for nitric oxide.